bring another one straight to the camera. Here we go. Zoom out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some hairs on your chest. <laughs> Welcome to Hopkin.com. Stuart here with a flight review and announcement of a brand new product. This is the next one in our 750mm Warbird series. Of course, you, uh, those of you that know will see that it's an F4U Corsair. If you don't, it's an F4U Corsair. Now this is 750mm and as with all the other ones, it's beautifully, beautifully finished. And it uh, comes included with a gyro if you want to use that. Uh, feel free to do so. However, in reality, it flies so, so good even without the gyro. So uh, that option is clearly up to you. Speaking of options, in the box you get the model as it is. Uh, you get the propeller pre-installed. You just need to attach the tailpane and the wing and install your receiver you also get a plethora of scale accessories you get some rockets and some drop tanks and the undercarriage and what we're gonna do I'm gonna fly it probably only just on the 2s it's 42 to 3s uh, I've, I've been flying on an 850 uh, 3s but I've also really been enjoying this uh, thousand milliamp power uh, 2s you need to get an adapter for that as well because it has a JST on the um, speed controller so let's uh, with that in mind let's have a quick look inside not much to see uh, I've got my six channel receiver just under here, a uh, small one, and this is the JST connector for the pre-installed uh, speed controller. And then of course you've got the, the motor up front, again, pre-installed. There's not much to say about it on the ground here, so what we're going to do is get it up and give it a flight review. Again, I, before I did the 2 and 3S on the Hurricane, but I know for my own personal preference that I really like the 2S, so that's what we're going to be flying on. We're going to be flying on my new Radio Master TX16S. These are becoming available uh, in warehouses very, very soon to look out at this. Beautiful radio on OpenTX, very, very ergonomic. But we'll turn this on, we'll get it out there. I think what I'll do, I'll just hand launch it first and I'll show you it working um, with the standard gyro stabilization, but then also we can flick it into the trainer mode, as I call it. Um, essentially what that does, it just limits the angle of bank and stuff like that. It's probably good if you're learning to fly or this is your first warbird, but it flies so predictably and so, so well, especially with the gyro, if you choose to install that, that um, that trainer mode is not really required. Um, so we'll fly it, we'll hand launch it, and I think I'll probably try and put the undercarriage on as well. It's very easy to do, by the way. You can see it just clips in, oh, got to get it the right way around. Corsair wheels are on the outside. Clips on just like that and it stays in really, really nicely. And that being said, it's a very miserable middle of winter day here. That being said, as you saw from the windsock, it is dead calm. Uh, it will fly in some wind, especially with the gyro on board. But uh, whilst it's not very sunny and bright, it's actually perfect weather for flying. And this is probably atypical of what a lot of you are flying in this time of year up in the Northern Hemisphere. And anyway, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. Anyway, now we're gonna do the flight review. No on board on this one, because it's a bit too small, so I'm gonna try and keep it as close as I can. My amazing cameraman, Tom, behind the camera there, is gonna do uh, his uh, best work at keeping this in frame. And, uh, well, that's it, nothing more to say, but to get on with the flight review of the latest lineup in the 750 millimeter Warbird series from Heqing, the F4U Corsair. Let's go. Welcome to OpenTN. Screw now we go to the battery. Get a wider shot of that. Battery in, sides, all the way forward. Like so. Okay, so as you saw, we are armed, batteries in, and we are pretty much ready to go. It is cold out here. It's really I'd cold. really like to get a Hobby King branded jacket so I could have something on over the top of this. Anyway, um, so with this, as with the rest of them, the uh, gyro is um, armed, pretty much. Uh, out of the box, but you, uh, from memory, you need to just give it a little bit of throttle just to initially arm the uh, gyro. So we'll go ahead and do that. That should be enough. Now you can see the gyro doing its thing. Now there is two modes of this. There's the uh, super stabilized um, limit angle of bank uh, mode, which I call the trainer mode, uh, and I've got it on a switch here. Armed. It's just simply armed or 
Disarm. Disarm. But in reality, disarm means the gyro is still engaged. It's just working purely as a gyro, nothing else. Um, quick point. <laughs> So easy to assemble. I mean, it's so small that you would keep it assembled anyway, but when you're building the thing, like I said, it's just the tail, and then it's just a single bolt uh, for the wing too. Uh, and we'll give the undercarriage a go in a bit, but right now, I'm gonna give it a hand launch. Underarm hand launch is uh, perfect for this. About three quarter throttle on the 2S, and just a little note for C or G. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, I've put a little point. Probably, lost. probably just about um, a centimeter forward of this panel line. Is where, you, is where you see it is. All right, you ready? Ready. Now I've got this in low rates. I can flick it in high rates as well. And if you're interested, uh, we can get a copy of my settings. As you can see, it's got a beautiful, beautiful picture of the Corsair that we just took recently. Really, really nice radio. Uh, I can put that on the files tabs of the listing too. All right, Tom, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so here we go. That's got a little bit of torque to the left with that three blade prop. So you want to be prepared to hold it in, in a bit of right. Yeah. Now I'm at full throttle. Now again, it is faster. How's that looking for you on the camera? Good. All right. Try and keep it close because I know it's grey. It is faster on the 3S, but I really, really like the 2S. Full throttle now. Oh, it's so rock solid. Look at that. You would never imagine a model of this size being so solid back in the day, but um, it really, really is. How's that? Nice? It's nice. What do they call it? The bent wind bird. Bent wind. Bird. Yeah, it looks, it's very, very, um, what's the word, uh, unique, that shape, and very distinctive. Here it comes again. Now I'm just going to cruise around to start with. Look at this, I'm in uh, a, 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 an area of flying space here that's about 100 meters by 100 meters, and I can pretty much easily keep it in this space. I'm using a bit of rudder in the turn. Hopefully that's picking up for you guys. And it's really, 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 really rock solid. It's um, very confidence inspiring and it's a great shape too. So that's, that's the pull out on uh, full power on the 3S. I'm going to go a bit faster now. Okay, now remember this is on a low rate, so I'm going to go up and do a roll off the top of this. And rolling down my roll. Uh, aileron is actually very slow, so I'm going to just put it up a bit. I'm a mid rate now. And we'll do a roll again in this direction. Full power in and roll. That's better. That's I mean, better. it's still, you know, quite slow for some people. Tom, I know you probably prefer it a little hotter than that. <laughs> Correct. But for me, who likes to fly you know, somewhat Sm scale. Smooth and silky. Yeah, smooth and silky. Really, really nice. One to the left. Yes, very nice. All right, uh, bring it in and do a loop in the center. You ready? Ready. Again, this is on low rate. And then up, 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 up. Easing off the top. And bringing it back around. And I'll come really close to you guys. Woo! So, so stable. And flight times, I'm just getting around seven minutes or so on this thousand million pound pack. Let's bring another one straight to the camera. Here we go. Zoom out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some hairs on your chest. Sorry, a bit silly there, but like I said, it inspires so much confidence that, um, well, you shouldn't really do things like that, but it's fun to do anyway. Another loop. Coming around. Easing off the power. A bit late on the elevator there, but it came out of it really, really nicely. Now this is, of course, uh, with the standard gyro mode on. So what I'm going to do is just take it up and, not that there is much wind, but I'm going to put it into what little wind there is and show you guys the stall. And just to ex uh, accentuate that, I'm going to go into high rates on the elevator. And let's see what it does. You ready? Ready. Okay. So I am now full up. That is full up. Look at that. Just nodding along and then ease off the elevator, ease on the power, and I'll go back into my low rate. Let's try and get a bit of a farmer pass coming around this way. Bank it over and put in some opposite rudder, full power. Oh, lovely. See the towel just tucks down a little bit. That's essentially a farmer pass. We'll do a fast pass uh, down the strip. Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to take it up, and I've got that other mode, what I call the trainer mode, and I need to go into higher rates for this, and what you'll see that it does, it limits the angle of bank. So, now I'm in trainer mode. Can you see that? Is it, maybe I'll come a little closer. Is that better for you now? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what essentially I'm going to do, look, I am 
pushing full uh, stick uh, left and right and it's limiting the angle of bank and it's the same in pitch it limits the angle um, so if you're learning to fly or if you're new to warbirds and you're maybe you're a little bit apprehensive because it's a, uh, a smaller model you needn't be in this mode because um, it tames it down and takes out all the worry of getting into trouble that said i'm an experienced pilot i prefer not to fly in that mode uh, there you go i forgot to take my rates down okay now my rates are down and we're back into the fun stuff that's a high rate roll now i think actually if i'm honest uh, with you tom sorry I, what if i'm honest with you i prefer that higher rate on the aileron oh, so here good. we go there's another high rate roll for me that could probably be an even bit faster Let's take it over and try the inverted. Three there we go. How's that looking? Small. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Yep. Yeah. So just a touch of um, of down, and that tells me that my CG is pretty much spot on. Bring it round again. Then get a little lower this time. Good. Yeah. Pretty okay. good. The power enough to bunt out of that. There we go. All right. Let's get back to the warbird stuff. So yeah, it's it's a warbird through and through. It flies uh, and very much looks like one. And this is the type of flying you're going to be doing with this model. Whoa. Oh, it's in high rate still. Sorry. So you got to watch those rates. It will be quite a bit sensitive. So let's uh, let's do another pass. Mm. I love that banked angle when it comes over and you see the stars and stars and bars on the top. I'll do another loop in the middle here, Tom. Okay. 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 Full power and up, 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 easing off the power, pulling on the elevator to exit, and into a bank path. It holds so well in that turn. Really, really nice. All right, so we're going to quickly, whilst we've got some juice in the pack, uh, bring it in, and um, we'll uh, wrap this bit up. Okay, you've got to ease off the power, ease off the power, keep it a little bit on just before flaring, and then cut just before. The propeller hits the ground with the motor still turning. So, that is that. So I've got the uh, undercarriage. I'm gonna pop that on. Make sure it's the right way around with the Corsair. The wheels are on the outside. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very wet and damp and quite long, especially, I mean, if you can see those wheels there, they're really uh, quite uh, enveloped <laughs> in wheels. the grass. And I'm gonna take off and get it uh, probably about, uh, well, I'll I think I'll give it mid rates on the elevator just to give me a bit more authority and to hold the towel down a bit, gradually increase the power, and we'll see how this goes. It has got a steerable towel wheel as well, which, uh, oh, let's see if you guys can see that there, yeah. which is a nice feature if you choose to do this too. All right, we'll give it a quick uh, once around because I know the battery is getting low, and then we'll sign off. You ready? You're ready. Okay, holding full up elevator, ease on the power. Now yeah. look at that. Now my um, trim has changed a little bit with the undercarriage. That's something you need to be prepared for. Look at this. Mm. But she still handles very, very well, even with the gear on. We'll do one more pass and then we'll try and get a landing. Now it is tricky to land these and not nose over, especially when you're on wet grass. But we're going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, that looks good. Really, really nice. So I'll take it off and do a stool turn off the top there. A little bit low on my um, settings there on the rudder. See, right now I'm going for the gear switch and the flap switch, but of course it's a much smaller model, so it doesn't have them. Right, let's uh, stay in mid-rates on the elevator, try and keep the speed up, and let's see what I can do here. Oh, Whoa, did you did it. It did it. Wow. Okay, so what you saw there, I kept the speed on as I came in. Um, try and keep it uh, nose down to a point and then I was able to flare and I think the gyro is doing its work there because I was able to flare and stay level because that's the important point if you're landing you want to try and land three pointers like that and you get that through flaring because if you land on the mains most likely it will nose over so there we go that was the flight review of the new 750 millimeter uh, Corsair this is the H King model it's available in all warehouses now um, you can fly it on a 850, for example, 3S. I really, really like it on this, um, on this uh, two cell, 1000 milliamp hour. 
Uh, I've put a oh, there it is. I put a little adapter on it myself, but these are available, or you can just change your battery to JST if you like. Very, very sweet model. Great, great value for money. Looks great in the air. The finish and detail is very, very good, especially considering its size. And all around, it's a great package. So look out for this on our website now, uh, and please comment and like on this video. We take all comments, positive and negative. We welcome them all. It's all great feedback. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and as well as other social platforms. Look out for an unboxing video coming of this, um, or at least what's in the box video coming from our good friend Rob over in the US. He's a CS worker for Hobby King, and he's doing some videos too now as well, and support the flight videos. And there'll be some reviews from some of our reviewers, uh, I'm sure. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for another flight review of a new product at some point soon. Bye. Okay, so that about wraps up our flight review of the new H-King 750mm F4U Corsair. Now we have to end this particular one on a product advisory or with a product advisory. It's because the gyro that we've talked about in the video with our first batch of models we actually found once we uh, that was delivered to us that the gyro on board this model does not have the correct um, settings for this model just on this first batch. Now we've corrected that by providing with your order a gyro with the correct settings on it. Now in reflection of the little bit of extra work you will have to do to replace the old gyro with the new gyro, uh, full instructions available on our website and underneath this video by the way, in reflection of that little extra effort you'll notice that the price of the F4U is slightly reduced compared to the rest of the range. That said, fitting this gyro is very very straightforward and again the instructions are provided for that. It's probably a, a two or three minute job. However, if you didn't want to fly uh, with the gyro, you don't have to because actually they fly really, really well uh, without the gyro, especially in those calmer conditions. Little confession for you, mate, cast your mind back. I did a flight review of the um, Hurricane, which was the uh, predecessor in the range to the F4U Corsair. Well, uh, through that video, I accidentally um, damaged one of the leads in the gyro, so for a part of that video, uh, on the second part of the uh, video, I had to fly without the gyro. And as you can see, well, actually, it flew really, really good. Yes, it was a calm day, um, but the model handled exceptionally, and the F4U is no exception to that rule. So uh, there it is, the product advisory for that first batch, for the first batch only, and then of course the price will go up again once you get the full batch back in all warehouses after that. So um, please notice, if you purchase one of these, you will have to swap out the gyro, but we include it for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next product flight review, and this time without product advisory. Thanks, bye.